are we being tricked, bamboozled, hoodwinked by the fashion industry, trying to make us obsessed with size? Well, our next guest, Wendy Stewart Kaplan, says absolutely, and we're falling for the craziness. Welcome, Wendy. How are you today? Good, Rolanda. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Some people would call you perfect because you are a fit model, is what they call them. I am a professional fit model. Now, people always ask me what that is. Okay, then I'm going to let you explain it. I am the average American size A, meaning I work with many major companies to take those crazy small styles you see on the runway. Yeah and make them fit average people. Like American people. American people. Because I was right. in Europe this summer, and honey, I couldn't buy clothes over there. Oh, it's unbelievable. They've withered down to nothing over in Europe. I okay? know. But I want, I want women here to feel fabulous and positive about themselves. Now, you're the perfect size 8. How are you going to make us feel good? Okay, let me just explain <laughs> you about the perfect size 8. I have meat on my body, okay? I've got curves. I'm, I'm round. I'm a little fleshy. And I take those styles that you see on these models that are size zero and size two. Right. And I make them so that you or me or anyone else, a size 10, a 12, or a 14, can put that garment on and look as good as a girl on a runway. You mean I could look like a desperate housewife? Uh, you know what? I don't want you to look like a desperate housewife. <laughs> yeah, but okay? I mean at my own You're size eight. You're a beautiful age. woman. I don't want you to look like a desperate housewife. I want you to look like you. And let me tell you, I'm happy being me with my plump size eight self. But <laughs> <laughs> well, me too. And you know what? Size eight is not plump. Size ten is not plump. I live in Hollywood. Is not plump. <laughs> this is so crazy. This whole size thing that we've gotten into. Now you say that we're being we're falling hook, line, and sinker. Hook, for what line, and sinker. Okay, oh tell tell me about that. Okay, we are being bamboozled <laughs> by these magazines, by the television shows. Let me tell you, Desperate Housewives is my favorite show, right? Me too. But don't you want to give all four of those women a good meal? Want to slap them? <laughs> you want to slap them upside the head, give them a good meal. Drive and them through McDonald's. Them. It's unreal. These are unreal body types, okay? You see it in your magazines, all right? Any of your celebrity gossip, Paris Hilton, yeah. those girls as role models, please. They're Absolutely. Sick. And it's not even real. It's not real, okay? But you're seeing it everywhere. You turn on the television. You pick up a magazine. You look at a billboard. What is so bad about using people that are real? Well, why is it happening? I mean, because we're, how do we turn the tide around? Because they're going to keep shoving it down our throats as long as we're buying an ooh, ooh, go, girl, goggling over those magazines every month. I still think, okay, we would buy just as many clothes if they put out magazines with regular people. If you remember a few years ago, there was definitely a trend towards that. What happened to it? Where did it go? I can tell you. The women that are perpetuating this myth and the magazines are shoving it down our throat. It's the women doing it to other women. It's those size zeros and those size two. And you know what? God bless them, okay? They can't help it if they're that thin, okay? But the world is not that way. Right. We are not that way. So how do you explain that? Because I know that you have a 14-year-old daughter. Yes, my and poor daughter. My God, what she goes through right now. She goes to school with girls where they're looking at each other and saying, oh, my stomach's flatter than yours. Did you think about that when you were 14? No. Right. I didn't think <laughs> So you have to know. I was chasing my gerbils and still playing with Barbie dolls. Life is very different today. Well, and speaking of Barbie dolls, okay, that's a whole other issue. I know. Let's not even go there. <laughs> but these kids are being shown this on television. If you turn on MTV or VH1 or anything, look, my gosh, look at the videos that they're seeing. Yeah. There's belly buttons. The stomachs are flat. The butt is tiny. Mm. All right, they get into school and they see each other, and that's what they want to emulate. And worse yet, okay, they've got moms at home that are on continual diets, going to the gym, and the kids absorb that. It just it is where they take mama's diet and they try it on themselves. Paris Hilton, I tell my daughter, this is not a real body type. People don't look like this, okay? What they're showing you on TV and in magazines, it's selective. And what really bothers me, and I tell people all the time, that in New York, I always say there's New York, there's L.A., and then there's America. Right, and, and New York, any place in between. You just go to a mall in any of those places. At, listen, I, I, I absolutely. But, but you know what? That's, that's, that's not real in those cities. I mean, look at, for instance, Nicole Richie and all the Paris Hiltons and all the little skinny girls. Exactly. Who's talking about how smart they are? Who's talking about their talent? Who's talking about the charity work they do? Who's talking about the good things they do, the relationships with their family? No, it's all about their weight. And what bothers right. me is American readership isn't asking about those things. We don't care. We just want to see if she, she can turn to the side, stick out her tongue, and still look like a zipper. Exactly. And that's exactly what we have to change. 
the types of shows that we put on TV, the actors that we put in them. Turn on even just regular nighttime programming. Everybody is just sick. Now, I will say this, because one of my other shows, as you're listening to, Rolanda, one of my other shows is, one of my favorite shows, Grey's Anatomy. And I really was very happy that the Latina actress on there said, hey, look, I am a happy size 12. Absolutely. And I am voluptuous, and she is one of the best-looking things on that show, She's I've got to say. She's always one of the head doctors on there, okay? But I'm going to give you the other side of the coin. Who's in the Gap ads? The Ellen Pompeo. The Hello. The skinny one, okay? Exactly. You don't see the beautiful, voluptuous one in the Gap ads. And there's a gap somewhere in here. <laughs> We've got to bridge the gap. At the gap. It's up to us to try and close it. We've got to educate our daughters that what is being perpetuated out there is just a myth and it's not right. Rolanda, we need to see more magazines where they're using women with average body types. That's what needs to happen. You need to turn on your television shows and see people that look like what is real people. Right. And I'll tell you something else that's being really disregarded that bothers me a lot, right? All of us baby boomers. So many of us are going into menopause now. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, not down, that I was agreeing that I was... Straight <laughs> up and down bodies, right? right. What, how is that being addressed? Yeah. Okay, I, we have the power to buy, and it's not being addressed. Absolutely. This is a woman who is not only an, a model, a, a, clothes, a clothing technician fit model, you might say, yes. who models everything from outerwear to lingerie. You're also an actress, a print model, stand-up comedian. Do you use any of this craziness in your, in your comedy routine? Oh, absolutely, because I have crazy things happen to me. I have women come up to me at parties, and they hear what I, on um, the fit model, and they're a size two, and they're apologizing for the way they look. How crazy is that? Oh, boy. Something is wrong. Something, Something is, is wrong. wrong. I don't know. It can't be in the food because they're not eating it. So <laughs> 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 we're talking about being hoodwinked and bamboozled by the fashion industry from our guest, Wendy Stewart Kaplan, who is a fit model. In other words, they take those little bitty size twos and use her body to enlarge the style so that we American women can fit into them with all of our curves. And you we fit into them, but we look beautiful in them. I make my clothes so that they drape on somebody's body, accentuating the breasts, the butt, the hips. Those things are all beautiful. Now, Wendy, when you're in this industry, because you were even competing in the National Mrs. Mrs. America pageant, yes. and you know the competition, you know behind the scenes, you know what's going on in the fashion industry, do you ever get to a point where you feel like, am I good enough? Am I thin enough? Do you ever go through what the average woman may go through in America? I don't go through what the average woman goes through because I have a very positive image of my body type. I love I you. feel really good about how I am, and you know where that comes from? Where? Inside. Inside. You have to develop that inside. Right. I look at these magazines for information on how to style my clothes, but you know what? I reject what I see on there, and that's the best legacy that we can leave for our daughters, that what we're being told really isn't the truth. That's right. You are so you are so on it, Wendy. Okay. I want <laughs> Listen, I want to bring back the, the Ethel Mermans, the Roberta Woo! Flack, that, that pin-up body. What happened to that? When I don't you, know. And you know what? Did Central become in style? I don't know about you, but the guys I talk to like a, a little meat on the bone. Men want a little meat. So women are only skinny for other women. Men like a little meat on the bone. That's exactly right. <laughs> Wendy Stewart Kaplan, thanks so much for joining us. All right, thank you. At and least keep eating, please. I know, uh, honey. <laughs> listen, you are talking to the you wrong person. After you, talking to I, me. I am the wrong person. You need to coax to eat. <laughs> and don't tell them to hold the mayo. <laughs> I know. I got bacon in here right now <laughs> as we speak. You. you have a great day, Wendy. Go out and get some meat. Thank you, darling. <laughs> have a good one, Rolanda. Bye bye. You too. Bye. Oh boy. <laughs> I tell you, it's the way we think. Don't be just a consumer. Don't let them get you. <laughs> Go out there and make it a wonderful day.